Yo what's up guys how it's going welcome to coding bot in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your flutter application to firebase cloud database let's make it before going to the video make sure to subscribe for coding bot and on the bell icon to get more updates in the future firstly you have to go to this official website of firebase I will put the link on the description or else you can just google like firebase just go to firebase.google.com this is the official website of firebase by scrolling down you can read so many things like what are the features and what are the uh, advantages by using firebase cloud database and you can use cloud firestore and authentication features and google analytics features and remote config cloud messaging so many features are there to use with firebase um, platform uh, developed by google company you can see uh, firebase is a platform developed by google for creating mobile and web applications uh, it was originally an independent company founded in 2011 you can read so many things by uh, referring google uh, resources i will just close this and this is the official website of firebase i'm going to get started by clicking this get started button it will load the uh, firebase console meanwhile i'm opening vs code to create a new flutter project just go to our code in bot youtube channel there are so many videos on um, how to deal with flutter right just look at the playlist which are on our channel i'm going to go to my vs code and just go to the command palette you can do these uh, steps by using commands as well but i'm using the features um, type like flutter flutter new project just press enter application and you have to give a folder or you have to give a directory to save our flutter project i'm selecting um, d drive select the folder i'm giving a firebase demo as my project name just press enter your flutter project will automatically creating um, you have to give the internet connection to your pc to um, create the new flutter project it is downloading essential things and the folder structure like this you can see a command is running in here right after exit code is zero it means uh, your flutter project creation is success without any matter this is our flutter project now i'm going to show you how to connect our flutter project with firebase application select your google account or the gmail account you have to log to firebase by using a gmail account i'm using um, this account let me close this window you can see there are so many applications i have created and connected with firebase so now i'm going to use another gmail account right this is my uh, newly created uh, gmail account to deal with firebase you can uh, click on this uh, create a project button in here and you can give a name to your project inside firebase i'm giving like firebase demo it should not be the same name which you have given uh, for the uh, vs code flutter project maybe it's different i'm giving a uh, firebase demo me spaces are not allowed firebase me right it's fine i accept the firebase terms and just click on this continue button you can uh, enable google analytics for your flutter project or else you cannot uh, you can disable that as well i'm disabling it and create project wait until the uh, firebase project is creating it is mentioning creating your project wait some minutes right you can see your new project is ready just click on this continue button now we will redirecting to this page now we have to select whatever the um, operating system you are going to develop your android application i am selecting android now we have to give the android package name to here let's go again to our vs code project and now we have to go to the android and just go to app build.gradle just scroll down make sure to go to this build gradle not to this uh, gradle file go to the app app directory and inside app directory you can uh, see this build gradle file in here you can see default config uh, inside that uh, application id is here you have to copy this select it and just uh, press ctrl c and go again to our firebase 
project creation page and just paste the android package name in here and you can give a nickname i'm not going to give a nickname you can add the debug sign in certificate if you need i'm not going to add this because it is not essential one just click on this register app now we have to uh, download this um, json file mentioning google services json and add it to your um, app directory just click on this download google services json file after a few seconds you can see it has downloaded already now go to your download directory this is the downloaded file let's go back again to our flutter project and you have to drag this to the app directory like this and just rename it like google services.json right we can close this file json file now we successfully added our um, google services.json file to the app directory like this now you can uh, click on this next button now we have to add some dependencies and some um, code snippets to our android directory just uh, i will split my screen right now you have to go to the build.gradle file in um, project level build.gradle file it means not this one it means this one now you have to add these uh, dependencies let's check the uh, build script repositories it means this you can see it is already here google and let's check the dependencies we have to add this google services um, this version it is not in there so we can copy that and just uh, come here and paste it in here and just save it and the next one is all projects uh, you can see the google is uh, already in here now we can skip this step because uh, we are already done in here uh, now we have to go to the app level build.gradle file just go to the app dot this one app level build.gradle file there are two gradle files make sure to add these uh, dependencies for the correct gradle file now we have to add this uh, apply plugin apply plugin common android application it is already in here now we have to add this one let me copy this and paste it below this and uh, dependency there is a dependency to add just copy it as well and just paste it in here and just save the file by pressing ctrl s so you can go to the file and save your file save your changes now you can uh, click on this next button let me right now we can click on this next button you are ready your firebase application is already connected to uh, sorry your flat application is already connected to firebase let me click on this continue to console button now you are in here if you are using cloud authentication uh, with firebase you can click on this and uh, you have to enable firebase cloud authentication if you are using authentication for your um, flat application just click on get started these steps are not essential our flutter project is already connected with uh, firebase database firebase project um, i'm explaining these things for additional knowledge right just uh, enable this email and password i'm saving it now you can use um, cloud authentication with firebase and let me show something interesting the cloud firestore database just go to this um, firestore database option now we have to create a firestore database by uh, click on this create firebase create database button you can uh, select uh, two methods uh, test mode or production mode usually we are using um, test mode and click on next and uh, location is already in here you can change it if you need and just click on enable you can see our firestore database is creating like this 
right now you can see uh, here are the collections uh, if we add collections to uh, cloud file store they will list it in here and uh, if you using real time database you can go to this section and create a database uh, which is real time this is a non relational database uh, named firebase you can use for many purposes with your flutter application um, these are the steps to connect your flutter application to your firebase project i think you got the idea to how to connect your flutter application with your firebase project as a database that's all make sure to subscribe for coding bot and turn on the bell icon to get more updates in the future i will meet you soon in another video bye guys